What is good YouTube? I'm going to run you through everything you need to know about the pre-patch for Dragonfly in about five minutes, give or take. So the main thing that's going to be changing in the Dragonfly pre-patch is we've got the new talent system. The new talent system is absolutely unreal. You're gonna have so much fun playing with the different builds and that's what I'd recommend you guys to do in the pre-patch. Don't look for the best sort of build that you're gonna try and find. Uh, don't look up what the meta build is. Just play around with it. Like nothing matters in the pre-patch. So I think just have a bit of fun with it. Find out what build you like. See if you can find any secret tech that absolutely pumps, anything like that. Uh, you can change your talents anywhere you want. As long as you're not in combat, uh, you don't need to be in a rested area. So yeah just change your talents at will find out exactly what you want to dabble with and play with and just give it all a go but yeah just enjoy the new talent system i mean the talent system is finally back it's no longer the cookie cutter build that we've always been hating on for the last few years and by few years i mean a lot of years we're back to the old ways with so many different options they have done a smashing job with this talent system i will say so yeah just roll with it and enjoy it so if you're not too confident with starting your own build from scratch they have implemented a starter build for each spec so that you can run with that you go to the bottom left of your talent tree you press the drop down arrow and then it will give you a starter build it's a general starter build so it's not going to be optimized for each piece of content that you're doing however it will get the job done although I don't know if I do trust the old uh, Blizzard starter build. Some of them have been a little bit sketchy. You also now can save your templates in your talent build. So if, for example, if you've got a Mythic Plus build with the big AoE dam, or you've got a raid build with the big single target dam, you can save these templates. It also saves your action bars, I believe. So you can save these templates and store them in the bottom left again, where you find the starter build, like I said previously. So that it's literally one click of a button and you're in the separate build that you want. Uh, you don't have to go through in the individually click at every little point know that you want to go and do mythic plus or if you're changing talents for a dungeon or something like that so it's very easy and customizable uh, that way and finally there's a nice little search function so if you're looking for anything specific in your talent tree if you're looking for a spell to put on your bars or something like that literally in the bottom left again you're just going to type in whatever you want i think you could probably type in some general words like if i wanted to find feral spirits i could just type in feral and it would come up and then yeah you can easily find any talent you want with that little function there so that is very good and very nice so in the pre-patch tier sets have actually been disabled uh, which is annoying because uh, there was a lot of builds that I saw people making which seemed like a lot of fun and the performance doesn't matter too much in pre-patch however it's probably for the better because some things might have just got completely out of hand like there was going to be way too much balance needed from Blizzard to actually implement the tier sets as well as the new talents and a lot of the new uh, talents have the old tier set functionalities in anyway for example I know you've got the four set back from destruction which is now a talent so if you were to still have your four set equipped and then you took the avatar of destruction talent how does that even work is it going to double it up so yeah it's probably for the best that they have disabled the tier sets in the pre-patch and we haven't lost too much we've got so much new stuff to play with with the new talent system so i can completely understand why they have taken it out another massive change is the new ui system uh so for any default ui andies like myself i've been roasted for the last few years so i can finally use it at peace now you can completely make it how you please i've seen seen some very interesting builds especially on the i think it was the wowhead or the blizzard tweet um yeah i saw some interesting uis on there but each to their own i guess you know i've actually had quite a lot of comments in my recent youtube videos asking about what add-ons i'm using and people don't know that it's just the new default ui so it looks like people are enjoying it just judging from the comments yeah so will this be the death of lvi that's my question uh, obviously, if you are still using add-ons, you are going to need to keep updating them and just keep an eye on the old Curse Forge. Is that what we're using now? I don't even know. Uh, but yeah, just keep an eye on that and just keep any add-ons up to date because you're probably going to get a lot of errors as the game starts to update itself and as these add-on developers actually roll out their updates. So just make sure you stay on top of that. Otherwise, you might have a broken game for a little bit. Saying that, I would for sure recommend using the new Blizzard UI. There's so much customization to be had. You can literally make it exactly how you want like i don't i can't think of anything except maybe the bags in the bottom right corner that you can't change and you might even be able to change that now i'm not too sure for now i would 100 percent recommend just using the new one play around with it see if you can finally get rid of the add-ons that are taking up all your bloody ram usage 
Another thing coming to the pre-patch today or tomorrow, depending on where you are. EU is tomorrow. I'm going to be uploading this today on Tuesday, so NA will get it today for their pre-patch release. Is unfortunately now Torrens can be rogues. The big old cow role-playing as a sneaky little rogue. How does that make sense? But in the pre-patch, there's a lot of new race and class combos. I think mages can be most races now. Same goes for priests. You can be orc priest. So if you're a rogue and you've always wanted to be a Tauren, now is your time. You can be a little sneaky cow in stealth and go ambush people as a big old cow. That would be terrifying, actually, having a Tauren just run up on you out of stealth, ambush, one-shot you, and then just vanish and disappear again. <laughs> Taurons are going to be sketchy. Additionally, the barbershop is now also free, uh, so you don't have a charge for any time you want to do that, so you can gender change at will. You can change any hairstyle, skin colors you want free of charge. Especially, that's going to be nice for Druids because now they can change their forms every Blade Dungeon if they want to. We just need Moonkin customization blizzard. As you might have seen on one of my more recent videos, there is also obviously the new Dragonflight login screen uh, with the new Dragonflight music. So you're going to be in the Dragon Isles as soon as you log in and listen into some chill music. The, the soundtrack's not too bad, actually. I do enjoy it. It does sound a little bit like Ark Survival Evolved. I don't know how many of you guys have played it, but it's like the big drums and like the, the jungle sort of drums. But all in all, it's pretty vibey and finally there's a few quality of life changes coming to dragonflight i'm sure there's going to be many but one to note for sure is now you can actually press and hold a spell like a filler spell for example let's say frostbolt if you just hold so you've got it bound on two or you're clicking it i don't actually know if it works with clicks but uh you shouldn't be clicking anyway you can just press down on your frostbolt and it will continually cast until you let go of the button so you don't have to sit there spamming away your button uh, you can just chill and hold down a little button. During the pre-patch, all raids will also be permanently unlocked as fated raids. So you can go in and smash them. I'm, they'll give you some good loot. And then obviously November 15th, once we've got the Drakthir and the invasions happening, I think you'll be getting 252 gear from the invasions. So you can either get the gear now or you wait till then and gear up your, your new main for Dragonflight. If there's anything I've missed in this video or you want to check out more detail on what I've been talking about, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the pre-patch uh, release notes so you can go down there and check it out for yourself and get some more detail on anything that I didn't go too much into detail on, uh, but I didn't want to make this too large. I wanted to get it out there. You guys can watch it in five minutes and get going. So yeah, enjoy.